Hi guys, welcome to our brand new show, um, The Travel Commanders in Chief. Um, my name is Ashish Bhandari and here we are in conversation with Ms. Fatima Rahil, um, Director of Maldives Tourism Board. Hi Fatima. Hello. How important as a destination is India for uh, Maldives? India has become our second largest market in terms of arrival to the Maldives. So, as I mentioned, this is the second largest, so India is very important. Plus, India is our neighbor as well. In terms of connectivity also, we have got uh, good connections with different flights flying from India, different cities. So, I, I see that there's a lot of similarity between Indians and Maldivians. Um, culturally, how would you... Uh, say that it's a good mix and how, how well are Maldivians able to deal with the Indians? And As you know, we are from, from the south of Asia yeah. and even the appearance of ourselves is very similar. For example, I can be mistaken for an Indian or yeah. so it's very, very similar. In terms of food-wise also, Maldives has similar, like we also eat curry, rice, parathas, ro rotis. Yeah. So it's, it's culturally also it's very connected with the Indians and the Maldives. So yes, we have very similar characters in terms of... So Maldives as a destination is more about resorts, relaxation. What are the different uh, experiences that Maldives has to offer as a destination for Indians? Maldives, uh, initially when tourism started in the country, it was like uh, open, it's one island, one resort. Yeah. But there's a new product that has come up in the past couple of years, like the guest house segment, where the, these guest houses are like boutiques, small boutique hotels in the local islands. So in the northern islands? In local islands. Local islands. Well, because Maldives, as you know, is like over 1,000 islands. So like yeah. one island is one hotel. Yeah. And where, where the other local islands is where the locals live in. So this new product, the guest houses have come up in this local island. So the guests actually can stay on this island. They can uh, actually mix with the locals living. Okay. You don't have to be on a resort to enjoy the Maldives. Yeah, so they, it's like more for the affordable, more for the budget travelers. Yeah, this segment has come up. And as such, uh, Indians, there are a lot of honeymooners who yeah, has come true. to the Maldives. As a destination, Maldives is, I think, so perceived as a high-value destination. And um, as what you're saying now, that these new guest houses have come up so that Indians can, a lot more Indians who do not have those kind of uh, budgets to spend on a holiday, they can also come and enjoy the destination. Also, a part of, uh, the, the, there's a uh, report from UNTO that, you know, um, 50 million people will be traveling out of India um, in 2020 and out of that 40 percent are um, millennials. How, how big or priority in terms of uh, millennial travelers does Maldives have? Uh, Maldives last uh, last year in 2019 actually by then we have received almost 190,000 visitors from India which is a two digit increase in terms of growth so it has reached to the second largest market for us so as a tourism board in we, India has become so important that we are doing many activities targeting the Indian travelers because Maldives is an island destination. We have yeah. similar island destinations like Bali, Indonesia, Phuket, yeah. which, which is perceived as cheaper than yes. the Maldives. But uh, since the connection has increased, so that means there is a demand for people to visit the Maldives. And it's like really unique in its own way. Although it's the beaches, it's the experience that the visitors come and have for themselves that defines the country. So in terms of honeymooners, the numbers has increased a lot. And we are targeting, we are doing many activities 
especially for India. So as you have mentioned that you and WHO that 50 million people will be traveling outbound from India itself. A major part of that would be your millennials. Yes, exactly. And we are targeting uh, the millennials, honeymooners, because millennials are very different in terms of... They co consume a lot of online content. Yes. So our main target this year is to go for digital media, social media marketing as well. And uh, we are working with our PR representative here in India, Think Strawberries. Okay. And they, are, they will be actually helping us in assisting in identifying in which areas that we have to invest so yeah. that the, like what activities that we can do, like which segments that we have the to the target. Marketing strategies, in, yeah, digital, exactly. trade marketing, okay. all that. Oh, and uh, direct consumer marketing yeah. as well. So we are trying to do more joint promotions with operators, airlines, because although we are the tourism board, we do the destination marketing. At the end of the day, it has to be converted into a booking. So a lot of social media, online media, to operator media, marketing is planned for, the, for this year. Thank you so much for sharing so many insights about uh, Maldives as a destination. Here we had some good conversation with Fatima, and um, yeah, we should we shall promote um, Maldives as a destination. Thank you, Thank you so you much. Too. Thank you so much, and we hope that a lot of Indians do visit our yeah. country. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much.